Hola, cosito precioso, mi amor, Antonio. Mm, como estas? So, Antonio, are those socks new? Oh my god, Antonio, those socks look really nice on you. You know where those socks would look even better? On my bedroom floor. Okay, sorry, I'm getting way ahead of myself. And good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. I do hope you're having an amazing day because that stops right now. Today, we're going to look into r slash hole up, which is one of my good old classic favorites. So, I do hope you enjoy this journey into debauchery. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs> and remember to subscribe to the channel, it's muy importante! Oh, you're wondering where I got this beautiful mango cup? Well, it's on my merch store, link in the description, thank you for asking. Moving on with the video. I think the scariest alien scenario ever would be if they came to Earth, didn't talk to humans, communicated with something in the ocean for a few days, and then just left. <gasps> the dolphins are taking over! I wouldn't mind though. Dolphins would probably make pretty lit muffins. Uh, can I call you back? I'm shaving my privates right now. How oh, rumors get started. <laughs> <laughs> I will stand up for my private. Don't you dare touch my private parts. Because his last name is Parts. But private part. Meh. If an orphan takes a selfie, this actually makes it a family photo. Until we meet again. This just gives me Batman vibes. This is just something Joker would tell Batman to make him cry on a sad Saturday afternoon. Only people with an IQ of 140 can find all the five differences. A classic IQ test, if I may say so myself. So here is Gorl on toilet. You see, there's an extra undershirt there. That's one difference. And there's... Oh, there's a giant pee, -pee in one of the pictures. Uh, editor, that... That probably needs a little wee bit of censoring. Just a wee. <laughs> oh, it also doesn't have any handles. And it also doesn't have a button on the toilet. Is that- do I have 140 IQ now? Heck yeah, that was easy. Milk tank and wham wham. Here's that pic you wanted from last night. Uh, one, you got the wrong number. Two, can I join your cult, please? I love tall guys. What's your height? 5'4 without heels, 5'6 with heels. 3'2 if I like you a lot. Uh, oh. That's right, three two, because she will get down on her knees and pray to you. Is it true that boys remember compliments for a really long time? Cause they don't get them often. My homie's grandma always said I had that good long pee pee, and honestly, <laughs> that got me through my teen years. I don't think that's normal. I mean, complimenting your homies should be normal, right? But this. Consent condom requires four hands to open, making powerful statement about consent. Damn, now I'm gonna get forced naughty by General Grievous and Machamp. <laughs> no, please. This doesn't. No, you took something, something supposedly wholesome and just like. Oh, God. Welcome to the clinic where we have wholesome vibes for a brief second, just to get absolutely ravaged a couple of seconds later. Piercing the digital veil. Creepy AI tech can generate photorealistic faces from extremely pixelated images. Japan. <laughs> it says faces, not uh, other parts. I wonder what a face like that would look like. If you have a very pixelated questionable picture, and, and you depixelate it with the assum AI assumption that it's a face. What would that look good? This, this is very intriguing to me. Uh, how long do I need to cook these wild potatoes? You know, just like with the... Uh, oh dear. Well, think of like with sausages, you know, when they kind of like low-key explode through the skin, that's when they're done. <laughs> Wait for the explosion. These, these wild potatoes are wild, man. Difference between orange suit and white suit. You may not know this, but the white suits or ex activity EVA are white to reflect the sun and be extra visible against the blackness of space. While the orange suits are for astronauts prisoners who were sent to space jail for naughtily assaulting aliens. This is so stupid. It is so stupid. If men are agreeing with you, you said something stupid. You're absolutely right, says a man. Oh, you kind of set yourself up for that one, didn't you? Oh, yes, indubitably. Sandra Bullock, stop sending me this poo. Mortal Kombat with <laughs> Bullock in the I feel like the internet just highlights the extremes of humanity, right? Sometimes it just brings out the worst in people and they argue over nothing. And sometimes it brings out the most beautiful parts of humanity. Oh, the internet, you extremely extreme beast. Bullied teen gave cupcakes to her tormentors. Then she revealed the secret ingredient was uh, male splooshies. They had it coming! 
<laughs> the daddy of dad jokes. No, it's Sherry Shirt. I am sad. I'm still sad. And now I'm a Q-bone. Is this really how it... This, this is so depressing. I know the Q-bone is wearing the skull of her mother. I think it even said so on the Pokemon card. When I was old enough to read the English on the Pokemon cards, I was flabbergasted by that fact. It felt overly depressing for a Pokemon. You know, a universe where everything is so colorful and wholesome most of the time. I come in peace. I am peace? Oh, your girlfriend is really, really cool. I am stuck. Oh, muffins are... Oh, heck yeah. Let me... Let me drink some mango liquids. Everything tastes better when you drink it out of mango. What? Does anyone know what this light means? I think you just created a mini portal to hell inside of your wheel. Uh, this is weird. When you're waiting for a new Japanese naughty doll to make the first move because you're shy AF. Uh, uh, come on, d d do something. Touch me. R slash ask reddit. What is your plan if nuclear war starts? I'm pretty sure my employer wants me to work that day, so I guess I'm working. This is such a mood. Why is this such- oh dear god, why is this such a mood? Well, I would just spend that day reading memes, honestly. I would just <laughs> sit and scroll like <laughs> nuclear memes. <laughs> and then I would have the video full about like explosion puns. Like, wow, these joke really blows. Or like, oh my god, this was kind of a explosive set of news. Man, just by making these bad jokes, I can really feel the fallout. You know, you know when you, you do like smoke smoke mushrooms and it becomes a mushroom cloud? Okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's a really thick cake. No wonder he forgot her face as she ran from the palace. What's that old saying? I hate watching you leave, but I love watching you go. Is this what they mean by birthday cake? Hi kids, come and take a slide through my what the heck is that supposed to be? Sometimes I just wonder, especially when it comes to kids stuff. Is there a designer on the team that like sneaks this stuff in on purpose? Is this a conspiracy that exists? There's just an underground cult of people that are like, Let's see how much naughty stuff we can sneak into kids things. And the same thing goes when I rewatch like cartoons from my childhood sometimes. I'm like, Holy f- <laughs> How is this legal? I mean, I kind of find it funny, and it's not particularly traumatizing because the kids don't understand it, so it's fine. It's like a dog whistle for the adults. A Fortnite creator is buying thousands of acres of forest to stop it from being cut down. I forgive you. Next move is to kidnap a hundred kids and airdrop them in. <laughs> this will just be the new- <laughs> the new reality show. Fortnite IRL. Honestly, that would sell so well. If you did like, if you did that like a show, but about survival, and you had to stay in the woods for, you know, a week or something, and you had teams, but it's basically kind of like airsoft or paintball or something like that, and you have to take out the other teams, it's like a mix between camping, survival, and like paintball, in, in the woods on like an abandoned island, and then you have film crews around that. That would be freaking awesome! That would be such a good series. Oh, I get tired of being a YouTuber, I'm gonna do that after I do the series about flattening the curve, where I just pay a bunch of flat earthers and tell them to find the edge, and I film it all. <laughs> God, I have so many good ideas. Ah, uh, Mom, Dad, there is someone outside my window. And, do you think I want to see that shite? That sounds scary as hell. <laughs> Go back to sleep, Timmy, deal with your own shite. Haha, have you ever said, frick the police? Well, now's your chance. Oh my. You have the right to remain a fabulous. Sorry, Daddy, for being a naughty girl. For the last time, it's forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Don't tell me how I talk to my Sky Daddy. Moving on. Poop alone. Poop with friends. And you select the poop alone. No matter, people nowadays are complaining about like, Oh my god, I have no social life. It's, it's all self-inflicted. Uh, so excited to meet at Post Malone. That's not... Ah, uh, oh, freaking nice meeting you too, man. <laughs> it's more like pre-Malone. <laughs> And yes, I stole that joke from the top comment. I am... I am an original content creator. I know Amazon drivers be like, damn, this house again. I work on ambulance, the thought is the exact same. <clears throat> uh, hold up, what? People born in 2003 are 23 now, that's crazy. American girls are really like this IRL. I'm not American, I'm Arizonian. She really needs to do that to find the five differences in your IQ is 140 quiz. Ma'am, can I ask thee a favor? Uh, what favor? Um, I got sick last discussion and tomorrow is my exam. Can you send nudes, please? Sure, notes. 
I came looking for copper, and I found gold. I realized like 10 years too late, you can probably frick these. <laughs> You can't! The inside layer is too tight, so when you move the outside with your hand, the inside doesn't move! Or, <laughs> or, so I'm told! Oh, Twitter, revealing people's darkest, deepest, weirdest shite since a long time. What people think arguing on the internet is like, it's a six, it's a nine, you see? It's all about wholesome perspective. Not, the world isn't seen, you know, through the same lens for everyone. It all depends on your experience, who you are as a person, your personality, your knowledge, your wisdom. What is actually like, four, damn frick. Yeah, that's, that's more what it's like. It's not about perspective, it's just a bunch of, out of frick, headless chickens running around but yelling at the same time. It's wild. If you're a fellow YouTuber watching this, you ever take a scroll through your spam folder in the comments? Don't. It's like the most cesspooly place of humanity you can imagine. Half of it is just spam and bots. The other half is just people getting weirdly angry over like the most mundane things. For example, I had a joke in a previous video that was something like, Oh, Nintendo took down this uh, hentai painting of Bowser. So obviously now they have confirmed what Bowser's private looked like. It's like really funny. And then I have someone go off in like five paragraphs like, You freaking moron! That's not how copyright works! They haven't confirmed any of you did- It's... A joke. God's sake, you're watching a meme channel. Draw balls on the tree. Yay, F plus, not those balls too. You got an F plus? Man, that's pretty good. Lesbian teens are getting prego more than twice as often as their peers. I'm sorry, what? Studies indicate that homosexuals are having sex more often than heterosexuals. I mean, yeah, that's like, that's like true depending on which statistics you look at, but... <laughs> I think the headline is, is like slightly misguided. I'm just gonna put it out there, fam. When you forget your mom follows you on Snapchat. My second favorite thing to have in my mouth. Uh, the first being that the holy words of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Everyone needs a little bit of Jesus inside of them. Oh, yes. Godzilla, king of monsters. Yes. Godzilla, king of legs. Hey, uh, baby. Do those legs go all the way up? Yes, indeed. If 90% of your body length isn't legs, your anatomy is incorrect. Can you imagine thigh highs on that thing? So here's someone capturing a little pee pee man on a thermal camera. Pee pee breath. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. It's the power of death magic. In 1847, Robert Linston performed an amputation in 25 seconds, operating so quickly that he accidentally amputated his assistant's fingers as well. Both patient and assistant later died of sepsis, and a spectator reportedly died of shock, resulting in the only known surgical procedure with a 300% mortality rate. How did you Oh my god! A Florida man arrested for passing every drug test. Uh, how did we get here? Have every effect applied at the same time? It is an achievement in Minecraft, so it must mean something good IRL, right? Find someone who holds you like Heath holds Gyllenhaal's. Oh yes, my boyfriend is it's a little bit... He's <coughs> funny, he's <laughs> a bit of a joker. When your wife gives birth but you don't feel the dad jokes kicking in, and your neighbor has suddenly turned into a comedian, Hmm. Top definition, thought, what guys call girls in high school that send out nudes and adult naughties of themselves. In high school? That sounds, okay. An acronym for that hoe over there, hoe, a word used by Santa Claus, says three times when he sees your wife, mother and sister together in the same room. Ho hold on, what? I came looking for copper and I found gold. It's just like a double sir. Are you serious? What? Who made this? Who linked? This is wild. Okay, so my family is definitely racist. I started dating an Asian girl recently and decided to bring her home to meet my family. The kids wouldn't even speak to her. And my wife told me to pack my shite and leave. Ugh, racism is alive and well. It's outrageous. <laughs> this is the longest continuous path you can walk in the world. Oh my god. Fact check, false, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. I mean, tech. <laughs> I mean, it's more about like the points that are furthest away from each other, bird shot wise, and like the longest road that still takes you in the right direction, sort of. Yeah, the definition is just a bit too simple. Come on, Pikachu, there's water Bulbasaur. Look at it growing in the house, Pikachu. It's very nice. Pokemon, gotta smoke them all. Smoke them all. <coughs> <laughs> 
My husband said the doctor told him I can suck out his kidney stone. After three days of trying, I think he lied to me. Yes. My dad officially became a doctor today. I'm gonna go show my dad this and tell him what other people's parents are doing. That is such a power move. You know when your parents are always like, sit, sit, Timmy over there, he became a doctor. Why aren't you doing better, Steve? And you can just turn that around like, hey, Steve's dad just became a doctor. What are you doing, dad? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thought so. Not so fun to be compared to other random people, is it? Benjamin Franklin, watching people from beyond the grave, as people use electricity to shock their nips for naughty stimulation. Hmm. He is proud. When a person dies and no one miss them, the morning is assigned to a random human. This is why you sometimes just feel sad. From now on, if anyone asks me why I'm randomly sad, instead of saying, I don't know, or something, I'm gonna look them dead straight in the eye and say, I have been assigned to mourn the death of a stranger, and just walk away. <laughs> this reminds me of, like, Scientology theory or something. I can't believe he didn't cry during the Titanic. Do men even have feelings? Son, let's play hidden. Go, close your eyes and count to ten. Uh, okay, mom. One, two, three. I love you, my baby. <laughs> the sadness is immense, and I struggle every day. Pencils should be sharpened whether they show a sign of dullness. Various types and designs are available in the store for use. This is a kid's book. Dude, God, speaking of hidden things, man, we're, we're in for it for a treat today. Is your, is your life too dull? <laughs> Try this. Oh, that's very... Light clothing for a day out. By the time I realized that was a shopping bag, I already missed the bus. Wait, is it? Oh my god, that's a shopping bag. That is so funny. I hope, is this part of like an advertisement campaign? That is such smart advertising if that is the case. Photoshop request. Can someone make it look like I'm holding a pit bull? So here's just a regular boring pup. But there's pit bull. Oh my god, so cozy. I love scratching him behind the ears. What is this? It's so cute. That's a new species, sir. We call it the dog. I want him on Earth. No. Sir, they couldn't possibly profilate with all the dinosaurs roaming. Look, the lizards. <laughs> So this is what happens. It was Tobins and Corgi Puppers. Man, that's so beautiful. Oh my god, God, you made the right show. Screw the lizards. We have puppies. Her, I like a man who reads. Me, butt eating made simple. <laughs> I love the absolute power move of this. <laughs> We're just reading it the public transport. Been chatting with cute 14-year-old girl. Okay, really flirty. Oh dear god. Now she tells me she's an undercover cop. How freaking cool is that for someone her age? Okay, well, this this took it. This was like a triple twist. Man says his threat to blow up a bathroom had nothing to do with the bomb. <laughs> no, it's just biological terrorism. <laughs> Inspired by nature, here's a wing and burb wing. Here is plane, uh, burb. And here is plane on plane, burb on burb. Mmm, nature is beautiful. Tweet! I'm a bus driver. If I'm having a bad day at work, I'll look in the mirror while driving and mutter to myself, You're all cunts, aren't you? And then tap the brakes twice so they all nod. <laughs> that explains so much about certain very twitchy uh, driving tendencies. Sea turtles can live for years. What's the secret to a long life? A bad and free life, mommy! Nope! <laughs> You want to live longer, abandon your kids on a beach. It's true, though. Turtles are so heartless. They just dump like, oh, I b better just give birth to a crap ton of kids. And maybe a couple will make it by themselves and I don't have to worry about it. Man, what a, what a careless lifestyle. I am a graphics designer and this is the worst logo I have ever seen. Women's network made of male organs. <laughs> cool. You know, gas prices must be high when man blows up his home trying to convert meth to gasoline. <laughs> this is our modern day alchemists, I swear to God. Absolutely gorgeous. Is this a new D&D &D class? Pikachu. A Pikachu noticed the weed. P Pikachu? St Pika Pikachu? My brother's ex have been stealing our Netflix for the past two months now by disguising her account as settings. And honestly, I ain't even mad. I'm just really disappointed in myself for actually believing an account named settings would legitimately be Netflix settings. <laughs> Respect. That is so sneaky. I think it's that kind of thing where you don't have a double take because like, oh yeah, settings, it's supposed to be here, you know, around the menus somewhere. And, and you just assume like, oh yeah, you pick a profile or you pick settings, you know? God. It just blends in, doesn't it? Okay, so just walking down a nice little restaurant, and he goes, oh, oh no, I'm not feeling so good. 
Oh, he fell over. But everyone is there for the rescue and they... Is this... I, I am so confused. A couple of them are just like humping the guy and his girlfriend is just flossing or something. <laughs> Man, the world is a beautiful place. White noise and oh, okay. On that a looks seat that before its metallic talons dig into their necks and painlessly wrench their heads off. What? This is something I would expect to see in like a Saw movie. Oh my god. Can you imagine being on like the Observer booth for this kind of stuff? Just like, oh, here's our giant Terminator claw machine that just rips off body parts. What a, what a nice little piece way way to go. You, might, you can just toss them in a giant blender instead. Dear god. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a tiny one too. Ah, this is cute though, yeah. You want a little tiny tiny stripper doll on your <laughs> on your on your desk? Fun for the whole family. You know when they said back in the day, like, yeah, 2022, we're gonna have like flying cars and, and stuff, but here we are, baby. Here we are. The future. Nice. Look at these little bananas. They're so cute. Look, oh my god, they're they're so cute. my hand. Wow. Oh. Those look pretty big to me. <laughs> Above average. <laughs> oh no! They're enormous. <laughs> Pretty huge. Well, a word of uh, a word of wholesome reinforcement here. It's not the size that matters. It's the smell. If it smells like a big one, it is a big one. Yes. Okay. So we have some secret weapons here. Okay, a Pepsi. That's pretty random. Is this like a product placement? Okay, takes a sip of Pepsi. And he has like a note sheet and he goes out to the cows. Okay, this is this is interesting. Is this why you sip the Pepsi as well? Beautiful. Man, the vocal cords are just mwah. I get the feeling this is gonna be the next, like, Marvel movie when they run out of ideas. This is Vegan Man who rallies the cows against their oppressors. When the wife says she's mad at me and won't talk to me. Oh yeah, you just established dominance around the house. Okay, just turn off the toilet thing. <laughs> you tighten all the lids. <laughs> she has to talk to me now. Remove the battery. She doesn't know where the other batteries are. That's going to such a power move. My god. The best life tips from TikTok. Go get him, bro! <laughs> He's getting away! <laughs> oh yeah, sure, mom and dad. I'll go to school, become a psychiatrist. Now look at me, I'm a scarecrow and I'm running away from a guy dressed as a bat. I should have just specialized in dance like I wanted to. <laughs> oh, this looks good. <sighs> oh, Batman never goes in alleyways. I like how he hums his own soundtrack. That's enough. You're going to jail. Well, guess who's gonna visit me in jail, Batman? My parents. <laughs> <laughs> what? Parents? Uh, Bruce! Dead parents! <laughs> you let him get away? <laughs> oh my god, are you crying? No, it's just raining. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Wetty, oh no! How my mom deals with a scam call. Alright, let's see what secret she has. Oh god, wait, I see this coming already. <laughs> okay, it, now it's open. If you want to make it even worse, you should like make sure to talk really quietly. So the operator on the side turns up their volume. They're like, oh, why do they talk so quietly? Let me turn up my volume. And they'll smack the sh** out of it. When you let your male roommate label your containers. All right, flour. Flour, okay. <laughs> Bacon, cocaine. <laughs> sugar mama. I like that. Off-brand sugar. Okay, or very dull spice. Racist sugar. Mm-hmm. Oats to oats. Count Chocula. Dear 
god. Pennies pasta. Oh, I would like to see my pennies. Mm. Mario pennies. Oh yeah, punch it. You, oh, get it, you get Oh, get the doll. Get the doll, and then you get to the jump. Oh, show dominance, and then the third one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Is life even real anymore? That is so sneaky. That is an amazing prank. This is the kind of vibe. When you have been playing a video game for so long, you mastered the hard AI. And then you all of a sudden goes up into like a surprise PvP mode. Like in Dark Souls. This is like the difference between just teasing AI and learning the patterns. And all of a sudden, oh my god, it was actually player controlled. Well, I am fricked. Here is a little movie that depicts perfectly what real life would be like if you thought you were the main character of the universe, like in the movies. Let's watch it together. The music is so empowering. Where to? Mm. Home. I'm going home. Yeah, girl. It's all over now. Woman, I don't know where the f*** <laughs> you live. Oh, I <laughs> But it really is like that, though. It's so weird in the movies. One of the other weirder things in the movies I always see is stuff like, oh yeah, you're, you're standing at a table, you know, all the tough dudes in the movie, and they're gonna make a plan how to defeat the bad guy. And, you know, someone is just like, all right, well, I've gathered you all here today to defeat the bad guy. How do we do this? And, like, the most badass dramatic dude just smokes a cigarette and drops it on the floor and, like, turns his back, and w while walking out the room, he's just like, we're gonna make them pay. And then, like, nobody has said anything about any plans whatsoever. They've just made, like, two-liner catchphrases. And then all of a sudden, they have a freaking plan in the next scene. Where did that come from, Bruce? Huh? Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, that is it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it, you beautiful beans. And I will see you again in the very near future. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I got a hair in my eye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> take care. And I'll see you again very soon. Mwah.